If you're new to the channel, my name is Naomi, and I'm a chemical and biological engineer by training. And in this series, we're looking at a special type of muscle memory that can actually help you grow muscle. And in this video, we'll learn what the myonuclear domain theory is and how it works. Myonuclear domain theory? This myonuclear Each domain? Nucleus, this totally you might have seen a lot of people discussing the myonuclear domain theory and wondered, how does this actually help your muscles grow? Well, it's in the name myonuclear. It's related to myonuclei. Now, what the heck are myonuclei? Well, let's take a quick second to figure out what they are and where they sit within your body. Your muscles are made up of a bunch of muscle fibers. Now, these things are actually the key to your muscle growth. This thing is a nucleus. Now, you might recall from your biology classes that a cell contains a nucleus, and inside the nucleus is the DNA. Now, what's special about these muscle fiber cells is that they actually have many nuclei, plural, within them. This is the myonuclei that we're seeing in the name myonuclear domain theory. The myonuclei are actually considered the brains of a muscle fiber. Myonuclei spit out instructions for how to build proteins. Proteins are so important. They do basically everything. Proteins are like the machinery at a construction site. You could call them molecular machinery. Now, your myonuclei are actually listening to what you're doing and they can respond by adjusting the amount of instructions and the type almost in real time and within a few hours of training. If you wanna take a deeper dive into this material, check out the video linked here. Now, we're gonna dive into the controversial myonuclear domain theory. And we're going to see why so many videos you find on this subject might actually be wrong. So get ready to learn how muscle grows and atrophies, at least how we think it happens. Now, mind you, we're already stepping into the world of controversy and debate. Scientists still don't know how exactly this stuff works, but they have a lot of good theories. One very strong theory that most agree on is that as your muscle size increases, as your muscles get larger, the actual fiber itself, the muscle fibers themselves, they'll increase in cross-sectional area, so they get bigger. Now, this is called hypertrophy. Now, as you get bigger, as you grow your muscle, the fiber size increases. But as it grows, the territory that your myonuclei need to serve also grows. You only have so many myonuclei in your muscle fiber, right? As that volume increases, it's going to get harder for your myonuclei to serve all of that area. So how do they handle this increase in demand? Well, according to the myonuclear domain theory, a growing muscle fiber will actually get more myonuclei. But I mean, how? Where is the myonuclei coming from? Well, according to a lot of studies, it looks like the myonuclei are actually being donated from the outside of the muscle fiber. There are these special cells that hang out on the outside of the muscle fiber, and they're called satellite cells. They're actually muscle stem cells. Now these guys are self-renewing and they can actually turn into a muscle fiber. They're usually just chilling, kind of waiting for something to happen. But when the muscle grows in size and there's a call for help, they need more myonuclei, these satellite cells will jump into action. They make some modifications to themselves by turning into myoblasts. Then they actually merge into the muscle fiber. Now this is the important part. As these myoblasts are merging into the muscle fiber, they're bringing their nucleus with, and there's a bunch of myoblasts doing this. So all of them are bringing their nuclei, plural, into the muscle fiber. And guess what? That's where these more myonuclei come from. It's from these myoblasts, which were originally satellite cells. This is actually how muscle fibers are formed in the first place. You get a bunch of satellite cells that turn into myoblasts, and the myoblasts merge together and voila, you get a muscle fiber with a bunch of nuclei floating around. A lot of scientists agree on this part of the myonuclear domain theory, where your muscles get big and they get more myonuclei added to them. But the big question is, what happens when your muscle atrophies? Like when it shrinks after maybe not training for a while? Well, you have a bunch of myonuclei that had been added because your muscles had gotten big, right? Well, if the volume shrinks, do those myonuclei stick around or are they not needed anymore? Do they degrade? Well, the myonuclear domain theory states that they would go away. The theory says that each myonucleus is responsible for a certain amount of territory. So if the territory shrinks, then the number of myonuclei would also have to shrink to basically keep the right ratio of 
myonucleus to territory. But many scientists have questioned whether myonuclei are actually lost during muscle atrophy. Some scientists propose that, in fact, the number of myonuclei stayed the same during muscle atrophy, during that territory shrinkage. Now, this is a totally different theory, but it's a really interesting one because it hints at a phenomena that gym goers have noticed for decades. It's easier to build muscle the second time around. So could more myonuclei remaining in your atrophied muscle help you build back your muscle faster the second time you get serious about your training? Well, many scientists say yes, that this is a secret to muscle memory, but other scientists are coming out now saying that this might actually be wrong. The plot thickens. These scientists say that we were actually right the first time with that myonuclear domain theory. They're saying now that yeah, your myonuclei actually do get degraded during muscle atrophy. So we've gone back to the original theory now. But if that's the case, what on earth is causing this muscle memory? We know that you can grow your muscles back faster the second time. That's been observed countless times. What's causing this then if your myonuclei are in fact getting degraded? The instruction volume coming out from the myonuclei might actually be the secret to muscle memory. Where do you think these instructions are coming from within the myonuclei? If you guess DNA, then yeah, you're right. DNA is truly the blueprint to make up our bodies. When the myonuclei are pumping out these instructions to code for proteins, they're pulling those instructions from your DNA. I mean, wow, you kind of just have to process that. Like when people talk about how important DNA is, this is it. DNA codes for every little molecular machine that make up you. Okay, so I've said that your myonuclei can actually change the amount and the type of instructions that they're spitting out. How do they do that? Well, the answer is epigenetics. This is the last player in our story. This is the final thing we're gonna learn about. Go ahead and meet me in the last video and we're gonna see how this story ties together and what this means for your training.